Hey you, it's us. Oh, there's a video. Parrots. <laughs> How's it going? So we are at 28 weeks right now. 28 weeks, six days. Uh, we're heading to get your ultrasound done. This mm. is the uh, <laughs> elective ultrasound, meaning that uh, you just pay for it out of pocket. So this is gonna be, uh, I think the package that we selected is a 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D. 5D. I think it's a little bit of all of the above. Uh, should get some pictures and some video for it. So we'll put all that in here. Um, <laughs> if you cooperate. <laughs> right, if if you cooperate. That's why I'm drinking this orange soda right now. Try and get you all doped up and ready to go. <laughs> Don't worry, it's kind of organic, I think. So that way uh, we can see what's going on. So some of the uh, new things that have been going on with some of the uh, new things you've been experiencing since I think 24 weeks was the last time that we did a video. Swollen feet, really bad circulation down my legs. Um, keeps me up at night. I've never seen my feet so fat before. Um, every, well no, it's only been twice that I felt like little little teeny weeny baby cramps that lasted for a few seconds so I don't know if that's just my body preparing me for the fake cramps later on towards labor and all that stuff um, back to having fatigue like I experienced in the first trimester second trimester was awesome I had some energy compared to what I am feeling now every day so not only fatigue, but not being able to sleep at night either. So just making it even worse. Yes. There was um, two days I only had like a total of maybe seven hours of sleep at the most. And, you know, we still work full-time jobs and that was tough. Very tough. What else? Just prepping the body, I guess, for after the baby's out. I will never get a break again, apparently. <laughs> Something else I was gonna say. I've become more picky with food. <laughs> like still, I'm being picky now. It's weird. <laughs> still not like aversions. Not like oh my god, I can't eat that. Yeah. But like never finding what she really wants. But has gone through like single cravings. Not like oh I need this all the time. But like strong. I really need some fish. Mm -hmm. Or. I really need this or really need that. And when we look at like the breakdown for baby development, it usually falls right in line with whatever's going mm -hmm. on. Like uh, for instance, when she was really craving fish um, and, fat. and fat, you were in the middle of the stage that you needed a lot of protein mm -hmm. to help develop whatever stage that you're in. So. It's just goes back to interesting how the human body will make you take in what it needs. You know, it's just my baby bossing me around. So with the circulation or really with the leg pain <laughs> that uh, she was getting, was it like cramping in your calves or? Cramping, pressure, and like my feet would fall asleep super quickly. So talking with the OBGYN and of course again this is not don't take this as medical advice everybody's different but they had magnesium start mm -hmm. taking a little bit of magnesium what did they say the max was like 360 360 so yeah. we got like 500 milligram ones <laughs> I think they were and we just cut them in half yeah. um, because she just told me she needed magnesium, so I just grabbed magnesium, uh, not realizing that. Yeah, we didn't know uh, there was like a limit. There was less than what the what the tablet was, so we just cut it in half, and, and, and that was fine. We also um, used a roller on on her calves to help alleviate some of the pain. Yeah. I think that that helped uh, roll in the morning and at night when we'd remember. Um, also compression socks. We just took a tr trip down to Florida to visit parents. So we drove down there with stops and everything it was about 11 hours. Oh gosh, yeah. And um, 
we forgot the compression socks on the way down. Um, and the feet were like this thick. Yeah, the feet got really bad, really swollen, painful. Um, we definitely had to stop more so get out and walk around to help get that circulation going back. Um, thankfully, uh, my parents had some compression socks there uh, and gave us to, to wear back. And did that make a huge difference on the yeah, way back? Yeah, it did, for sure. And what also made a big difference was um, we forgot to do the massages at all while we were down there. So it's, the massages helped me stay asleep at night because we, we haven't done it for before we even Probably a week. There, yeah. So it's probably one of the reasons why I like couldn't sleep for almost two days while we were still here. But it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of learning, and that now I started listening to the husband in you know using the wedge pillow to keep my feet up at night. So did that help? Yeah, it, I didn't wake up with swollen feet or dead feet. <laughs> so still, baby determines which side uh, or how she's gonna sleep. Mm -hmm. um, still not happy with right side sleeping. No, nope. I'm always just on my back now. And I turn my head. That's it. <laughs> Which they also say sleeping on your back is <laughs> probably one of the worst things as far as leg pain is concerned. Oh, really? Yeah, just old Cletus the fetus is hanging out on your uh, arteries and veins running down to your trunk. Because before she was fine as long as I don't turn on my right side. Because once I try to sleep on my right side, she just keeps kicking and just she would not stop. Um, and then I, I was okay. I was allowed to sleep on my left side, but now But now nope, not anymore Also, I now started feeling that thing where they say oh you can't hold your pee anymore It's it's a funny thing because uh, Olivia would just it feels like She would just stand or sit on my bladder and I have to go like that. But then if I were just to like just Wait for like a minute It's gonna go away so Yep, that fleeting feeling that you have to go all the time, it's not really true. It's just the baby knowing which buttons to push already. Yeah, we were literally driving back from Florida yesterday, last night, and uh, as we were driving, there was a, a sound of a ooh, and then a, <laughs> when you see the next rest area, you need to pull over now. <laughs> and uh, about a half a mile to a mile down the road, it's, okay, I'm good now, she's moved. Yep. <laughs> so, as quickly as it comes, it can go. Excuse me. Since this was an elective ultrasound, I am able to go inside. They do have some different check-in procedures. Got to stay outside, send them a text, and then they'll let us know when we can go in. Um, thanks to the Rona, but at least I'll be able to be inside for this one, so that'll be good. It's been a really long time since you were allowed in. When was it? Back in Durham still? Yeah, not since UNC, and that was... Sep. Well, I'm just trying to think what the last thing that we did in August. UNC that I was allowed to be oh, indoors no. for. No, the ultrasound for you when you were like six weeks old yep yeah the the final the final appointment at unc no when you were like nine weeks old yeah when you were just a little little itty bitty thing no it was i think the nine or ten week yeah thing. something like that it's been it's been a while definitely not since we left uh unc fertility so um i haven't been in any of them but we did on Amazon buy a baby Doppler mm. I think I spent like 40 bucks on it works great so um, for dads out there that haven't been in and you haven't heard the heartbeat live it's it's pretty nice to pop that thing out and uh, find the baby heartbeat yourself so uh, just a suggestion something that uh, that you might want to look into um, now we're just waiting to get permission to go in for this ultrasound so yeah 
we'll talk to you on the way out. See ya! When I'll be coming home Then I'll be at your door When I'll be coming home I plan to let you know The longing of my heart The wish I carry high Whenever we're apart It takes me through the night When I look deep into your eyes So we just finished your ultrasound. Overall, it was a success. <laughs> really? You tried plating high and go seek, but they shook you out of there. Glad Dad finally saw you again after. And it was good. We were able to see. Three weeks. We were able to see no cleft lips, so that was good. <laughs> we were able to see your fingers, at least on one hand. I counted all your fingers, so. Yeah. So that's good. You have really big feet and long fingers. So big feet from him. Long fingers from me. Oh, and you're three pounds, nine ounces. They Approximately. You're, a, according to their measurements, you're a week more advanced than what you should be at this point. Chunky. You have chunky cheeks. Little chunky monkey. I'm a baby girl and you're stubborn. You like to put your arms over your head over your face and did she put her foot over her face too? Yeah, so you were putting your hands over your face, your feet over your face. At one point in time, you literally straightened your legs and folded yourself in half. Yeah, to just hide your face. Just to give yourself a little bit more of a curtain. Uh, but most of the time you were borrowing your face into mama's hips. Yep. Or bumping your head into my bladder. But yep, they said everything looks great, great and healthy, so that's good. Plenty of fluid in there for you to swim around. We saw you yawn. Make fists. Pout. Yeah. She like to pout. She's like. Mm. Yeah, you put to put on your grumpy face. <laughs> yes. You're already practicing your, your RBF. RBF. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. And we'll talk to you next time. Uh, Bye.